In this video, you'll learn how to use Particle Workbench as your local integrated development environment, or IDE, for a particle project. Particle Workbench is available for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux, and provides all of the same capabilities as the Particle Web IDE, plus a number of other features that are perfect for particle power users. If you'd like to follow along, you'll need a single particle device. We'll use a particle argon in this video, but any particle device will do. Particle Workbench is a robust, local, integrated development environment for firmware development and debugging. It provides all of the tools, libraries, and extensions you need for IoT development. And because Workbench is built on Visual Studio Code, you get all of the features available in the world's most popular cross-platform text editor. To use Particle Workbench, you'll need to install it on your machine. If you're already running Visual Studio Code, just download the Particle Workbench extension from the Visual Studio Marketplace or search for it in the Code Extension panel. If, on the other hand, you don't have Visual Studio Code, you can visit particle.io slash workbench and download the one-click installer for your operating system. This installer includes VS Code, the Workbench extension, and its dependencies. Once Workbench is installed, open VS Code. You'll see a welcome screen with tips, instructions, and helpful links for using the tool. The first, most powerful thing to learn about Workbench is how to invoke the command palette, which is Visual Studio Code's interface for executing various commands. Pressing Command-Shift-P on Mac and Linux or Control-Shift-P on Windows will open the command palette. From here, you can type particle in the input box to view commands available in Particle Workbench. Find the command Create New Project and select it. Workbench will prompt you for a parent folder in which to create the project and then ask for a name. The project name will be used to create a new folder that will hold your project source. Once the project is created, Workbench will open it. The empty project template contains a source directory with a single .ino file for your application firmware and a project.properties file which Particle uses to track metadata and project dependencies when compiling or over-the-air flashing through the Particle Device Cloud. Let's write some code to publish a message to the Particle Device Cloud and blank the onboard LED on pin D7. In the setup function, let's add a Particle Publish call to tell the Device Cloud that our device is online. Type particle dot and after a short delay, an IntelliSense box will pop up showing all of the public methods available in the Particle class. Select Publish and add a message name and payload. Now, let's blink the onboard D7 LED. First, in the Setup function, set the pin mode to Output. Then, in the loop, type DW. After a short delay, a completion box will pop up letting you know that there's a snippet available for the digital write function call. Select it, and the cursor will automatically move into place for you to specify your pin. Hit Tab and select the High option to turn the LED on. Particle Workbench comes with a number of snippets to accelerate working with primitives, device OS features, and more. You can check out the complete list at the link below. Next, let's add a delay and another digital write to turn the LED back off. Then, we can flash this code to a device. Open the command palette again and select the Configure Workspace for Device option. You'll be prompted to enter the device OS version, device type, and device ID or name. In this case, I'm using device OS version 1.1.0 on an Argon, and the device name is Cyan Panda. With everything configured, we're ready to OCA flash from the Particle Device Cloud. Open the command palette and select the Cloud Flash item. Workbench will provide status updates in the lower right corner of the IDE. Once your device is flashed, the D7 LED will blink on and off each second. As a local IDE, Particle Workbench also allows you to locally compile and flash devices. First, let's change the delay between the D7 LED turning on and off to a higher number like 3,000 milliseconds. Then, open the command palette and select Local Compile, or click the lightning bolt icon at the top of Workbench. Workbench will then use a local compiler that is installed and configured on your machine to build your firmware, which it will place in a new target directory. 
To flash, you'll want to make sure that your particle device is connected to your computer via USB and that you've put it into Device Firmware Update or DFU mode. To do this, hold down both the Setup and Reset buttons. Then, let go of the Reset button while still holding the Setup button until your device starts blinking yellow. Once it does, you know you're in DFU mode. Now you can open the Command Palette again and select the Local Flash option. Your firmware will be recompiled and transferred onto the device over USB and then restarted. Once it's happily breathing cyan again, the D7 LED will again blink, but at a slower rate. Congratulations! You've successfully installed Particle Workbench and created your first Workbench project. We've only scratched the surface of what Workbench is capable of, though. To continue your journey towards IoT mastery, head over to docs.particle.io. Happy hacking!